All right, so now we're going to look at how to export a completed track to the No Limits editor. So this is the track, uh, the freestyle track that I've uploaded to my YouTube channel. And it consists of a total of 17 sections. And by the way, you can actually name the sections by right-clicking on it, and you can name it whatever you want, and that helps in identifying it later. So it consists of, the first section is, is the station, uh, second section is the launch, and then it has uh, the ride part of the of the coaster. Second last section is the brake run, and then the final turn back into the station. All right, so now how do we export this? Well, I'm going to export this as four different segments as, as follows. So this is the new save element panel, and you can get the folder that you want to save it in. Uh, I've already selected it um, and name it. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to save just the station section. Uh, and the way you do that is now you can specify the save range. So I want to save just the station. So I want to save from the station uh, section to the station section. So that's just one section. So I'll save that. Next, I'm going to save the launch. So again, I'm going to save the launch just by itself. So from the launch to the launch, and I'll rename it launch. And then I'm going to save the ride part. So that's section 3 uh, to section 15, so right before the brake run. I'm going to name it ride. And now what I'm going to do is turn on track smoothing. So the track smoothing works uh, much better than it does in the previous version of Newton. And uh, I typically use a value of 5. You can make it as high as 25, but if you <laughs> really go that high, then you probably should rethink your track. And then taper at the endpoints, what that does is that uh, gradually turns on the smoothing um, at the beginning and end of the section or of the segment. And you always want this value to be higher than the smooth value in order to prevent any sort of kinks at the beginning or end of the, of the segment. So again, I'm saving from section 3 to section 15, which is the right part of the section. I'm, ha I'm smoothing it at a level 5 and tapering uh, at level 7. All right, and then I'm going to save uh, the brake run. So this is actually going to be five segments, not four segments. I'm going to name it break. I'm going to turn off the smoothing. It won't really do anything anyway, so might as well turn it off. And then finally, the last uh, section, the, the break or the, the turn back into the station, I'm going to enable it turn and save that as well. And by the way, you can also adjust uh, the segment length now as well. Uh, two meters is typically, that's the default value, and that's typically sufficient. Um, you can make it longer if your if your track is very twisted. You might need to go to one meter, but uh, anyway, it's something you can you can play with. All right, so now we've saved all our sections. Now let's go back to the No Limits editor and let's import our track. So first thing we need to do is make sure that uh, the very first vertex is at the proper height. So in, uh, 15 meters is what I had it set in in Newton. And then we need to change the coaster type to uh, hyper coaster. Then we insert the station. That's the first one. I'll zoom in a little bit and delete all the uh, the segments, and then hit I to straighten the section. And then, oops. I change that into a, a station segment. And then you'll need to adjust the parameters of the station. I'm not going to do that here, but uh, that's something you have to do to, to finish the, the ride. And then we'll add the launch. So let me zoom out a little bit. And again, I'm going to delete all the, the nodes in the middle and hit I to, to straighten it out. And this is the launch. So we'll change that into a, a transport section. And then we'll insert the ride part. That's the middle part of the uh, the ride section of the of the coaster. Uh, and then we'll insert uh, 
Now, before I do that, let me make sure I know where the ride ends and the brake run begins. So again, I delete all the nodes in the middle for the brake run. And then hit I to make sure that it's straight. It looks like I forgot to save the turn. So let me go back and do that. All right. Now we can insert the last section. The turn. And this will consist of uh, transport as well. So let me go ahead and do that. And finally hit C to connect it. Highlight this to make sure, hit I just to make sure that it's straight. And then if we write it, we can see that in fact uh, lines up almost perfectly. And that's it. That's the complete coaster now. And now you need to go back and adjust the uh, parameters of the different, uh, the launch and the brakes and the station to complete the ride. And that's it.